As culinary combat commences, Tom and Matt are preparing the first of the four courses they'll each be cooking this week. Hi, Tom. How are you? Matt, how are you doing? See, you've got an ugly wee sod there. The, me or the, or the boat? Well... <laughs> It looks a bit like a uh, Scottish front row, you yeah, know, after the, yeah. after the Six Nations there. The two chefs have very different styles, reflecting the fact that they live and work in strikingly different environments. Tom was born and bred near Edinburgh, so it's no surprise that when he opened his own restaurant, it should be on the dockside in Leith. Two pike from the lunch menu, two duck. Yeah. Uh, straight out of Loch Lomond yesterday, eh? He's now a chef with a wealth of international experience. But 13 years ago, he was a young trainee at the internationally renowned Glen Eagles Hotel in Perthshire. Glen Eagles, Tom, eh? Alan, how are you? Today, he's greeted by one of the directors. The kitchen's changed a lot, but some of Tom's former colleagues still work here. Chef Gibby. <laughs> How you doing, Tom? Alan Gibb is now executive head chef. He was very impassioned. He wanted to learn. It's a busy place here, but he, he certainly wanted to do it. And after about a year, he, he said he wanted to move on, go on to go down to London, and I tried to give him as much support and encouragement as I could at the time. After a spell in the smoke, Tom went on to work under some of the finest chefs in France before becoming the chef on a private yacht touring the Mediterranean. But when it came to opening his own restaurant, he knew exactly where it should be. Here we are, we're in the, the heart of Leith, and Leith is becoming a real uh, gastronomic haven uh, in the UK. It'll be interesting to see whether Tom's international influences help him in this competition. His style of cooking certainly went down well in Edinburgh, and success came very quickly indeed. We opened the restaurant in June of 2006, and in January 2007, we we achieved a Michelin star. It was the fastest Michelin star ever awarded in Scotland. Where are they? Tom's very ambitious and expects high standards both from himself and those around him. Can you explain to me why she's not got the front ready? Tuesday morning, wake up. With drive to match his extensive experience, Tom's determined to go all the way, both with his restaurant and great British menu. I've mixed all these techniques together and I've now come up with my own interpretation using Scottish produce. I'm really getting excited by the competition and I really want to go on and, uh, and get to the final. Back in our kitchen, he's busy checking out his rival's pedigree. Cook and run in the family, Matt? My father was a catering manager at Glasgow Airport for a lot right, of years. Okay. So when I was a youngster, I used to spend time in Glasgow Airport and like and doing that and seeing through the kitchens and like. And when I was at school, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. My mother was dead against it, the catering industry. My father died when I was really young, and she always thought the catering industry had something to do with that. Aye. So I spent a few months sort of, uh, pondering and not sure what I wanted to do. Uh -huh. And then all of a sudden, I thought, you know, you've got to do something. So I applied for a degree in hotel management at Napier Polytechnic in Edinburgh. Right. And that's how I went to the industry.